All right, so like in eighth grade, seventh grade, I started by uh, by filming like my friend skateboarding. Um, so that's how I like I learned to use the camera and learned how to edit and stuff. Um, and then by like freshman year, I started filming like weddings and uh, other like live events like that for clients uh, to make money. But then this year I started doing concerts, like filming and uh, shooting photos at concerts for like uh, publications like SF Weekly and there's another one called Bay Area Raps that I shoot for. Uh, so yeah. Well, I did I did the Burner concert at uh, Bill Graham, that was pretty big. Um, and I, I shot Playboy Cardi too, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I just do uh, venues all throughout the Bay Area. Um, try to find like concerts that I think will be cool to shoot and I go shoot them. It's, I mean, it's not too bad when you're shooting with people who are older than you because like they respect me a little bit because like I'm young and like, I sort of know what I'm doing. Um, but it's hard working with uh, clients sometimes because they don't like paying uh, a kid. Um, so the age thing is definitely uh, hard with, with clients for sure but it's not too bad when I'm shooting with other people just because like once I show them like what I can do it's like they don't really judge mm -hmm. that much I guess. Right now I'm applying to uh, Chapman University for film and then NYU for film. Um, I, I think I wanted to Chapman a little bit more just because I think the program's a little bit better um, but I mean after I'll either like get a law degree so I could um, be a producer and like make money that way because it's pretty hard to just like make money doing film, uh, filming stuff. So once I'm done with take it, but I'll be somewhere within the film industry. Honestly, just like start using a camera and learn how to uh, shoot, uh, build a portfolio, um, and then try to think about stuff that you could film for money. I guess um, like if at your church or something like that. Just any anything you think people need film, just try like reaching out to people. Um, and once you get your name out there, like, um, and you do good work, like those people will refer you. Um, so word, word of mouth is pretty helpful. And then, but most importantly, like just keep shooting. I guess have a solid portfolio. Uh, well, so like when I first started skateboarding, uh, I mean I saw that there's a bunch of like skateboard videographers who are getting paid to make. Uh, skate videos. That like really drove me to like want to do that because like I don't want to work at like an office job when I'm older. So um, that like inspired me to get like to start working at it um, but like over time I've sort of realized it's like there's no money <laughs> in uh, skateboard uh, filming um, so I've sort of uh, I haven't moved on from it but like I try to it just broaden my horizons I guess um, so for skateboarding it was just skateboarding as a whole but currently like um, I see a lot of uh, photographers and videographers on like tour with like uh, artists and stuff and that'd be really cool to do that when I'm older so I'm just trying to build a portfolio now, make connections, um, hopefully something will work out in the future.